Imagine a silent predator, not piloted by humans, but by artificial intelligence, lurking beneath the Arctic ice. The US Navy just unleashed a game changer, an AI submarine so advanced it reportedly outmaneuvered and captured Russia's newest hunter killer. This isn't science fiction, it's the future of naval warfare, and it's happening now. On March 15, 2025, in the frigid waters 200 nautical miles north of Norway's Svalbard archipelago, something extraordinary occurred. An autonomous American submarine, operating without a single human aboard, achieved what naval strategists had deemed nearly impossible. It detected, tracked, and maintained continuous surveillance on Russia's most advanced Yasin M-class submarine for 72 hours straight, gathering unprecedented intelligence on Moscow's crown jewel of naval engineering. The encounter represents a watershed moment in military history. For the first time, Artificial intelligence has proven superior to human operators in the deadly game of submarine warfare. But how did we get here? And what does this mean for the future of global security? Join me as we dive deep into the story behind the most significant naval encounter of the 21st century. The Arctic Ocean is no longer the frozen wasteland it once was. Climate change has transformed this remote region into the world's newest strategic battleground. As ice sheets retreat at unprecedented rates, they're revealing something far more valuable than just open water. They're unlocking access to an estimated 90 billion barrels of oil, 1 trillion 669 billion cubic feet of natural gas, and vast deposits of rare earth minerals worth trillions of dollars. But resources are only part of the equation. The melting Arctic ice is creating new shipping routes that could revolutionize global trade. The Northern Sea Route, which runs along Russia's Arctic coast, could reduce shipping times between Europe and Asia by up to 40% compared to traditional routes through the Suez Canal. Control of these passages means control over the future of international commerce. This is why the United States and Russia have been locked in an increasingly tense underwater chess match for Arctic dominance. Both nations understand that whoever controls the Arctic seabed controls not just resources and trade routes, but also strategic military positioning. Russian submarines operating from Arctic bases can threaten NATO's northern flank, while American submarines can monitor Russian naval activities and protect critical undersea communication cables that carry 95% of global internet traffic. The Arctic environment is uniquely challenging for naval operations. Water temperatures hover just above freezing. Acoustic conditions are unpredictable due to ice coverage and varying salinity layers, and the extreme isolation means that any mechanical failure or tactical error could prove catastrophic. Traditional submarines require highly trained crews capable of enduring months of psychological stress in cramped quarters. This is precisely why artificial intelligence represents such a revolutionary advantage. The submarine at the center of this story is officially designated the USS Manta, though its existence has never been publicly acknowledged by the Pentagon. What we know comes from leaked intelligence reports and anonymous sources within the naval community. The Manta represents a $4.2 billion investment in autonomous warfare technology, a vessel that operates without a single human crew member aboard. Unlike conventional submarines that require 130 to 140 personnel, the Manta is controlled entirely by advanced AI systems developed through a classified program known as Project Poseidon. The submarine displaces approximately 8,000 tons and is powered by a next-generation nuclear reactor designed for 30 years of operation without refueling. But its true innovation lies in its brain. The Manta's AI operates on quantum computing processors capable of analyzing millions of data points simultaneously. Its sensor suite includes ultra-sensitive hydrophone arrays that can detect submarine signatures at ranges exceeding 200 nautical miles, synthetic aperture sonar that creates three-dimensional maps of the ocean floor in real time, and electromagnetic sensors that can identify the unique magnetic signature of enemy vessels. What makes this AI truly revolutionary is its ability to learn and adapt. Using machine learning algorithms trained on decades of submarine warfare data, the Manta can predict enemy movements, optimize its own acoustic signature to remain virtually undetectable, and make tactical decisions faster than any human commander. It can remain on patrol for up to six months without returning to port, operating in complete radio silence while autonomously gathering intelligence and tracking targets of interest. The operational advantages are staggering. Human crews require rest, food, and psychological support. They make mistakes under stress and can be compromised by fatigue or emotion. The Manta never sleeps, never doubts, and never deviates from its mission parameters. 
In the unforgiving Arctic environment, where a single error can mean the difference between success and disaster, this reliability is priceless. To understand the significance of the manta's achievement, we must first appreciate what it was hunting. The Kazan, a Yasin M-class submarine, represents the pinnacle of Russian naval engineering, a vessel that Western intelligence agencies have described as potentially superior to America's Virginia-class submarines in certain capabilities. The Yasin M-class is Russia's most advanced attack submarine, with only a handful in service and several more under construction, at a cost of approximately $1.6 billion each. The Kazan stretches 390 feet in length, displaces 13,800 tons when submerged, and carries a crew of 64 highly trained specialists. Its armament is formidable. 32 vertical launch tubes capable of firing caliber cruise missiles with ranges exceeding 1,500 miles, Onyx anti-ship missiles, and the new Sircon hypersonic missiles that travel at Mach 9. But the Yasin M's greatest strength is its stealth. Russian engineers have equipped these submarines with advanced anechoic coating that absorbs sonar pulses, a pump jet propulsion system that operates more quietly than traditional propellers and sophisticated noise reduction technology throughout the hull. Western naval analysts have admitted that the Yasin M is quieter than any previous Russian submarine, approaching the acoustic signature of American and British boats. The Kazan sensor suite is equally impressive. Its MGK-600 Irtish Amphora sonar system can detect targets at extreme ranges and track multiple contacts simultaneously. Its electronic warfare capabilities allow it to jam enemy sensors and communications, and its crew represents the elite of the Russian Navy, officers who have trained for years specifically for Arctic operations. For decades, American and Russian submarines have played a deadly game of cat and mouse beneath the world's oceans. During the Cold War, both sides developed sophisticated techniques for tracking enemy boats while remaining undetected themselves. But the Yasin M-Class represented a new challenge, a submarine so advanced that traditional tracking methods were becoming obsolete, until the Manta changed everything. The encounter began on March 13, 2025, when the Manta's AI detected an anomalous acoustic signature while conducting routine surveillance operations in the Barents Sea. The signature was faint, barely distinguishable from background ocean noise, but the AI's pattern recognition algorithms identified it as consistent with a Yasin M class submarine departing from Russia's northern fleet base at Severomorsk. What happened next demonstrates the extraordinary capabilities of autonomous systems. While a human sonar operator might have dismissed the contact as uncertain or requested additional confirmation, the Manta's AI immediately began a complex tracking protocol. It adjusted its own depth and speed to optimize acoustic conditions, deployed a network of expendable sonar buoys to triangulate the target's position, and began predicting the Russian submarine's likely course based on historical patrol patterns and current oceanographic conditions. For 72 hours, the Manta maintained continuous contact with the Kazan as it transited northward into the Arctic Ocean. The AI employed tactics that would be impossible for human operators. It positioned itself in the Kazan's acoustic shadow, using the Russian submarine's own noise to mask its presence. It exploited thermal layers in the water column to remain undetected while maintaining sensor contact, and it continuously adapted its tracking strategy as the Kazan's crew attempted standard evasion maneuvers. The specific AI algorithms that enabled this success represent some of the most classified technology in the American arsenal. Sources indicate that the Manta uses a hybrid system combining deep neural networks for pattern recognition, reinforcement learning for tactical decision-making, and quantum computing for real-time data processing. The sensor fusion capabilities allow the AI to integrate acoustic, electromagnetic, and even subtle gravitational data to create a comprehensive picture of the underwater environment. But perhaps the most impressive aspect was the AI's ability to predict the Kazan's movements. By analyzing thousands of variables, water temperature, salinity gradients, ice coverage, known Russian patrol routes, and even the psychological tendencies of submarine commanders, the Manta's AI could anticipate the Russian boat's actions minutes before they occurred. This predictive capability transformed the encounter from a tracking exercise into what naval analysts are calling a capture. The Kazan was effectively under continuous surveillance without any awareness of being watched. The intelligence hall from this encounter is potentially game-changing. 
The Manta recorded the Kazan's complete acoustic signature across multiple speeds and depths, mapped its electromagnetic emissions, and documented its tactical procedures. This data will allow American submarines to more easily detect and track Yasen M class boats in future encounters. More significantly, it demonstrated that Russia's most advanced submarine is vulnerable to AI powered tracking, a revelation that fundamentally alters the strategic calculus of undersea warfare. The geopolitical fallout from this incident has been swift and significant. While neither the United States nor Russia has officially acknowledged the encounter, leaked reports have sent shockwaves through military establishments worldwide. Russian naval commanders are reportedly conducting urgent reviews of their submarine operations and acoustic signature management. The incident has exposed a critical vulnerability in what Moscow considered its most secure military asset. For the United States, the success of the Manta represents validation of a controversial and expensive bet on autonomous warfare. Critics have long argued that AI systems cannot be trusted with lethal military capabilities, citing concerns about unpredictable behavior, hacking vulnerabilities, and the ethical implications of removing humans from combat decisions. But the Manta's performance suggests that in certain domains, particularly the slow-paced, data-intensive environment of submarine warfare, AI may actually be superior to human operators. The incident is accelerating an already intense arms race in autonomous military systems. China has announced plans to deploy its own AI-powered submarines by 2027. Russia is reportedly fast-tracking development of autonomous underwater vehicles capable of extended independent operations. Even smaller naval powers like India, Japan, and South Korea are investing heavily in unmanned submarine technology. This raises profound questions about the future of warfare. If AI submarines prove consistently superior to crewed vessels, will human submariners become obsolete? What happens when two AI submarines encounter each other? Will their algorithms engage in a form of machine-to-machine -machine combat that humans can barely comprehend? And most troubling, what are the risks of delegating life and death decisions to artificial intelligence systems that operate beyond human oversight for months at a time? The Arctic dimension adds another layer of complexity as climate change continues to open new areas of the Arctic Ocean, the region will become increasingly contested. The Manta's success suggests that the United States may be gaining a decisive advantage in this critical theater. But Russia is unlikely to accept this shift in the balance of power without response. We may be witnessing the opening moves of a new Cold War, one fought not by human crews in steel tubes, but by competing artificial intelligences in the silent depths beneath the ice. The encounter between the USS Manta and the Kazan represents more than just a tactical victory for the U.S. Navy. It marks a fundamental transformation in the nature of naval warfare and great power competition. For the first time in history, artificial intelligence has proven capable of outperforming human operators in one of the most demanding and dangerous military environments on Earth. As we look toward the future, the implications are both exciting and unsettling. The technology that allowed the Manta to track Russia's most advanced submarine will continue to evolve, becoming more capable and more autonomous. The Arctic will remain a critical flashpoint where American and Russian interests collide, and the arms race in AI-powered military systems will accelerate, potentially leading to capabilities we can barely imagine today. One thing is certain, the age of the AI submarine has arrived, and naval warfare will never be the same. The silent hunter beneath the Arctic ice has changed the game forever. If you found this analysis compelling, don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth coverage of military technology and geopolitics. Like this video to support the channel and share it so more people can understand how artificial intelligence is reshaping the future of warfare. The revolution is happening now, beneath the waves, and the world is only beginning to understand its implications.